Welcome to the podcast, Leading and Growing Your Real Estate Business by Coach James Short. This podcast is designed to help you with strategies, insights, and ways to increase sales, build and lead high-performing teams, and ultimately grow your business. Your host, James Short himself, also shares some of his secret sources on how he helps his own clients achieve business growth quickly and easily. James has been coaching those in the real estate and property industry for close to 10 years now, and his clients keep on saying, since working with James, their results have been outstanding, giving them more money, time, and fulfillment. James is offering a free strategy call to those listening to see how he can assist you to take your business to where you want to go. Simply go to jamesshort.com.au forward slash strategy and book in a time today. Now on with the show. Hi and welcome to another edition of Leading and Growing Your Real Estate Business. This is Coach James Short and welcome to another edition. Pumped, excited, over the moon, just blown away by our next guest, a dear friend of mine. I've known, uh, known this lovely lady for a number of years and uh, we are so fortunate to have her on the show today. Jules Kasher. Oh my goodness. Woo! Skin makeup, spray tan expert. Uh, Jules is a highly skilled in skincare and her signature look is all about fresh, glowing skin. Jules loves learning and is constantly attending courses and brand training sessions so she can offer you nothing but the best brands, techniques, and innovations. Jules has established a devoted clientele and is known throughout the industry for her passion, speed, creativity, intimacy, meticulous and consistency with each and every client. Prior to working to, uh, for herself, Jules has a background with over 12 years experience in PR, media and marketing across the beauty, fashion, and hospitality industries. Throughout hard work and this life experience, she's built relationships with like-minded people and suppliers. So if you need a referral for anyone, Jules, she's the woman. With advanced diploma in makeup and several diplomas in beauty and thousands of workshops under her belt, along the experience in stores like Mecca, Bobby Brown, Mac and Napoleon, you know, you are definitely in excellent hands. So we are honored and privileged to have her on the show today. Jules, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Cool. I, I mean, listen, we, we've been friends for, a, little, for a, a number of years now, and I wanted to get you on the show, particularly through these times, right? I've got so many people in lockdown, they're working from home, they're, you know, kids, they're, they're doing their heads in. Um, and I thought, what a perfect person to come onto the show and shed some light on ways that we can, particularly for our lovely lady clientele and an audience out there, and even for some of the blokes, um, <laughs> just to share some of your insights and some strategies on, on you know, what you can recommend and, and uh, what, we can, what we can go through today. So once again, welcome. Thank you so much for having me, James. So let's, uh, let's go back a little bit in relations to, um, you know, your journey and how you got to, to where you are. So if you want to share with the, with the audience a little bit about yourself and, and your journey so far. Okay. So yeah, I didn't, I never imagined my act, myself actually being a makeup artist. Like it's not something I'd ever, you know, when you have these childhood dreams and thoughts when you're a kid and I'm really thinking about it a lot lately because my little girl's talking about what she wants to be. And yeah, I always thought about, doing you know, events and business and PR and communications, which is what I studied for years and then did, yeah, for over 12 years, still basically do it sometimes in my own job now. But I woke up one day and just went, this is just not working anymore. And I'd always had a passion for makeup and skincare and a lot of the clients that I work with or used to work with in advertising and PR needed me to be very hands-on. And I don't like or faking it till you make it or smiling till you make it. It's <laughs> thing I like to know and have the experience. And I definitely smile till I make it at times, but I wanted to have the experience to actually, or the learnings. So I was always fascinated by it. Um, and I love people, I love making people feel and then look beautiful. Yeah. And yeah, so I made the change. It's been over, over six years now. I'll never forget my husband, the day I sat him down. Um, in the exact same place I am now and put him across the table and said, I guess this is what I want to do. And he's like, what the, and I'm like, yeah. And he goes, but why? And, you know, he said, you know, you want to enter one of, and it is very true at times, one of the, um, the cattiest and often bitchiest industries at times, but mm. 
I said I loved what I, you know, what I wanted to do and let me explore it. And here I am now, still learning. I just signed into, logged in to do another course as well, which is a couple of weeks of skin needling uh, online, which is amazing. And I, yeah, I couldn't, I, I look back now and go, how come I never did it sooner? But it's uh, yeah. not meant to be. And that's but, that's a, but that's a classic, classic case of like, you know, here's my passion. This is something I love. Let mm. me explore it. And boom, look at where you are today. I mean, I mean, obviously we're not going to be naming names, but some of your clientele is, you know, some of the 100%. highest celebs in Australia at the moment. And it's, it's quite profound. And, and that goes to your relationships. It goes to your hard work. It goes to the amazing stuff that you do. I want to talk to you about trends. Um, obviously there's been, you know, through these times that we're going through at the moment with the pandemic, but before that, what in relation to your industry, what were you noticing some of the trends prior COVID um, that you that was happening out in the industry? Uh, are you talking about for clients what they were wanting or more? Yeah. 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 Yep. So something that's real that was really changing and it's changing even more now, which we can go into in a sec in terms of current times, but people wanting much more natural glowy skin and then a bold eye and toning things down, simplifying things, uh, people wanting to learn a lot more. Uh, they love getting their makeup done, not just for big events. So before COVID-19, I was the busiest I've ever been. Yeah. So it was interesting the types of events that people were booking me for. It was all just, okay, I'm going for lunch with the girls today. Right. And it wasn't my typical clientele that were booking me for those events. It was new clientele. Like I'm just going out for lunch, going out for lunch for a birthday, not even their birthday. So it's actually becoming a much more, not a want to need. Yep. Uh, people love to learn. People love to not only uh, look, but feel glamorous and beautiful. And yes, yeah, skincare has really come apparent as well. So. So true. So true. And what about now? What, I mean, since we're, we're, we're working through, you know, the, the virus and we're in homes and so forth, what, what are some of the trends and what are you noticing now? Even more pared back. Uh, <laughs> we're going back to basics, which I really love. So I've always said, you know, it doesn't, you can have the best makeup artist in the world. I've actually copyrighted that quote. Um, you have the best makeup artist in the world, but without um, the right skin or skincare, then you've got nothing. Uh, so a lot of people expect makeup to do the magic. So since COVID 19s you know, become very apparent in isolation, people are wanting skin regimes. They want to, they're investing more in their skincare. Uh, I see a lot of change once we start to go out to events that people will even more enhance the fact that I want to look more natural uh, and have one focus point rather than lots of focus points. Um, they want to learn. People mm. have got more time some people, I definitely don't. Uh, and they have, well, they have time. They're not going out and running around. We're not driving around like we usually do. So they're spending that time learning and they want to have that experience, which I love because I, I talk about that a lot with my clients or so that the experience that we deliver from the moment you arrive to the moment you leave. So yeah, it's, it's yeah, back to basics, uh, very natural. But then this week I've had a few clients go, okay, Now's the time I can learn. Can you teach me how to do that black, bold, smoky eye, which I've got to do a tutorial on this afternoon. So that's also good. Yeah, it cool, cool. It's up a little bit. Love it. I love it. I mean, it's so true, right? Because, you know, we're not traveling around. We're not being, yes, we've, you know, we're still busy with, obviously with, with kids at home and so forth, but yeah. a lot of clientele, uh, what can I learn? And, you know, mm -hmm. doing doing an understanding it's uh, around skincare. It's so important. What are you, what are you noticing is, is some of the, uh, I guess, uh, where do, where do people get it wrong in relations to, to makeup and, and skincare? Where do I begin? Yeah. <laughs> um, how long do we have? <laughs> yeah, how long do we, have? Um, we all have our own ways of doing things. Yep. I had a client, one of my favorite clients, actually, I think she's, Probably, my clients probably don't like hearing that at times, but she's probably one of the best brides I've ever worked with. And she was the last wedding I did uh, before uh, COVID-19 really came in force in Australia. And we were isolating. And she, you know, she even said in the session we did this week, we did an online skin regime. And she's like, I really need 
to just break this down simply, don't I? Said that to me. And I said, yep, so we need to keep it simple, which means we need to be targeted, just a few products in terms of her skin. So where we go wrong is that, well, it's marketing and I'm a marketing PR communications degree. So I get it. We're like excited. There's products and advertising and that's going to be even more enhanced once we mm. you know, go back out to events and things. It's going to be more marketing, but it's like quite overwhelming at times and we get very excited and we tend to buy things because our bestie buys that and it works for her or my mum buys that and it works for her or my sister or my, my favorite one at the moment is my twin. Oh, love and I explained to this client, you came from the same room. Yes. Okay. But two sacks <laughs> and you still have different, your, your DNA is going to be very similar, but you still have your different blood types. Yeah. Yeah. Right. True. Um, genetics uh you know one of them is like her mother the other one's like her father so what one's using the other one can't be using as well and different jobs atmosphere eating health conditions so where we go wrong is that yeah i feel like we get really overwhelmed and we we do something and i'm not just in makeup and skincare we do things because our bestie does it our partner does it our friend does it we don't do it because we think that's the best thing for us. Not all the time, but I think a lot of the time. So we really need that specialized approach. We really need that yeah. what's best for me approach yeah. compared to what's best for my bestie approach. 100%. <laughs> I, would <laughs> say, I would say if your bestie jumped off a glare. Yeah, that's right. Would you follow? <laughs> but, but sometimes I get a mixed answer at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> so normally no, but some people are like, oh, well, look, if you really wanted me, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> One so, for the yeah. team. One for the team. <laughs> well, so, what about what are some of the what some of the things that people can do um, for themselves whilst at home through these times? What would you recommend? What would be some of the, the the tips or the hints that you could you could share with everyone today that whilst being at home, maybe look at this or look at that. Okay, so something that my husband actually wants me to do, but that's for other reasons. It's not because of this. Is clean out bathroom cabinets. He wants more space, um, which is fair enough. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, go through products that are out of date, that you haven't used for a long time, uh, and hydrate your skin. We're, in, uh, we're not necessarily in air conditioning, but even I've noticed I'm inside a lot more, even though I go out a couple of times a day. So you're in different temperatures to what you normally are. So my skin, and we're going into, it's colder, but it's not at the moment. We don't really have a winter or autumn. So we're all quite dry. Uh, I listened to a podcast today, a client of mine has referred me to it and said that, you know, there's, there's COVID-19 skin and it's so true okay. because mums and dads are now working full time at home with kids homeschooling and okay. pretending to do school holidays. So your skin's very different to what it normally is when you're out and about. So hydrate your skin hundred million times over people go, I'm oily. I've got breakouts, I'm oily, I can't put hydration. I'm like, the very reason why you are breaking out is oil is trapped. So you're not hydrated enough. And don't tell me you drink eight glasses of water a day. Because you might, but that's only 1% of that goes to your face. Plus, that doesn't incorporate the, the six cups of coffee or the, or the half a bottle of wine the night before. <laughs> very, very true. Perhaps that might be a little bit more of my problem. But... <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. And I think this is the time as well where I've had clients in the past that have always seen me for makeup, but now applications and spray tans, but now they're booking me for skin regimes and they're like, okay, Jules, I'm ready to actually put into place what you've taught me Great. in the past. So they're simplifying it. And, you know, I've been sending out skincare packs for specific clients that don't want to have to order from three, four different places. So I've been taking you know, the, um, the pain and, and the time and the research out of doing that for other people, which has been great and it's fun. I love doing that stuff. Uh, and, and probably just pop on a bright lip. I know that's not for the men. For the men, it's often about like washing your face in a different way. Um, definitely, you know, hydrating, using a moisturizer. Um, but the ladies, yeah, pop on a bright lip. It's amazing what it does. And you're still on Zoom calls if you're still working. Or if it was a mum, I had a girlfriend the other day, I, I sent her one. And she's been brown with bright lipstick. And her husband's like, where are you going? <laughs> she's like, nowhere. But I've got three kids and I'm loving that I look good. And I look at myself in the mirror. And it's not 
Makeup's not how it makes you look, it's how it makes you feel. Same with skincare. You have good skin, you feel really good. You have a spray tan, even as a man, you feel good. My husband says I have a strut. <laughs> so anyway, yes. So that would be, I guess we'll just, let's do it to top three. Hydrate your skin, yep. clean good. out your cupboard. And thirdly, you know, invest in maybe as a skin specialist or a therapist, um, or, you know, jump online and do a tutorial or follow some beauty people. Yeah. Love it. Love it. And so where, where do you see things from here? Like, where do you see after we get, you know, be able to start to to mix and, and start to get out there, where do you see, you know, your clientele or, or people out there? What do you think they will be needing as they, as, as we start to lock down, start to release? I know it's weird, isn't it, James? It's, I've struggled to say all of that because no. I don't know how everyone's different and what our thought process is. So it's weird. That's a tongue tie trying to explain. Okay, so so I've been saying when we go out to events with other people where we can touch them, what will happen? I've had mixed mindset about this. Uh, every moment I feel different until the other day. I did a post where I actually missed my clients. I was like, it was Saturday and I'm so used to getting up and doing yoga and it being a bit of a, a quick, quick morning. Our Saturdays, mine and my husband's and my daughter's are like every people's most Mondays. Our Mondays are not normally that like that. It's crazy because we both work on the weekends. Getting myself ready, doing my own makeup and doing a day of clients. And I miss, I missed it. It really hit me hard. My phone went crazy after that. Just one post. People that I'd never even done their makeup before, but I know them through acquaintances or friends, said, I'll be booking you just because. Right. So that's amazing for me, but to, I guess to be very direct, the answer to the question is that how do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be a bit more of a need, not a want. Again, uh, even more than what it was before this all happened. Um, I think skin regimes are going to be big. Um, no offense to dermatologists. I have a great dermatologist I work with. He refers me work, but a lot of dermatologists just tell you to use QV and send you on their way. Whereas a skin therapist will look at your skin products, regime, what you're doing. I ask people what they sleep on. I ask them how often they change their sheets. I ask them how do they wash their face in the shower or in the bathroom. So I think it's going to be a lot more about um, freelance work and not so, so much big chains because we are here. We get it. We're the everyday person. Um, I've noticed a lot of my Instagram and Insta story work where I feel like I'm a crazy person, but people are, are relating to what I'm talking about and the juggles of what's at hand. So, you know, I think it's, it's going to be a lot more of a personal service than it has ever been. Fantastic. Love it. So uh, where can, where can the audience go to, to find out more? Where can you send them? What's, what would you recommend? In terms of about what I do? or in Yeah, general? to find out more about you, to find out, you know, maybe how they can have a chat, maybe how they can book a, a virtual session in. Sure. Where can you send uh, them? You can literally go to my website, www.julescasher.com.au or my Instagram is my name, at Jules Kasher. That's C-A-C-H-I-A. People get very confused by that surname. Uh, or, yeah, just send me a direct message. You can do it through the website. My phone number's on there as well. Um, yeah. Love it. So guys, go and check it out, juleskasher.com.au and uh, have a chat, reach out. She's always welcome uh, to having a chat and uh, book in a session with her and uh, she will make you feel amazing. Jules, really appreciate your, your time, energy and expertise uh, today and uh, thank you once again. My pleasure. Thank you for your time. It was lovely to chat. <laughs>